Today, we will learn about extremal principle. This is not really a formula. This is not a formula. It is a heuristic. It's a way of thinking about mathematics that uncovers a problem uh, quite uh, ingeniously. So, what is this principle all about? There are several such principles like invariance principle or infinite descent and so on. Uh, what is so special about extremal principle? Well, as the name suggests, you consider the extreme situation, extreme situation, the maximum or in fact sometimes when maximum is not one thing then you say maximal so maximal or minimal case you look at that in other words you look at the worst case scenario or the best case scenario depending on what problem you're doing worst or the best case scenario and then almost magically the problem pops open uh, so, uh, before we go into this problem from AMC 10, which is an example of this extremal principle, uh, we will talk about something uh, of a much simpler version, simpler version of this problem. So this is a problem from AMC 10. Now, if you are an internal student of Chinta, go to the link in the description and you will have access to additional problems of this type additional problems and even the external students can go to the link in the description and uh, get some more resources okay all right so simpler version uh, you have 10 black balls and 10 white balls in the in a bag in a bag this is a crude version of a bag so the balls are in the back okay okay there are 20 balls in total 10 black 10 white what you want to do is pick up two balls of the same color that's your goal you want to pick up at least at least two balls of the same color that's that's what you want to do that's your goal now, you want to do this without looking at the bag or you want to do this without looking at what balls you are picking up. So, pick up without looking, without looking and without replacement. So, you once you pick out the ball, you don't put it back inside the bag without replacement and uh, the question is mi minimum how many balls should you pick up should you pick to reach your goal now the answer is naively simple actually uh, you can simply experiment with the cases so for example if the first the first ball you pick up can be black or white so that's the first round in the second round let's see what happens once you have picked up the black ball it could be black black or it could be black white so two cases similarly this could be white white or white black so if you if you are at black black or white white you are done you have picked up two balls of the same color but if you are in the other two cases that is black white or white black if you are in the other two cases then you have to go one more step so the next step you have either black white black or black white white 
But in both of these cases, you have two balls of the same color. Either you have two blacks or you have two whites. Similarly, in the WB case, you have in the next round, you have white, black, black or white, black, white. Again, you have two balls of the same color. So in third round, you actually reach the final value. Uh, so answer to this question is three. You should, if you pick up just three balls of the without looking and without replacement, you can be sure that there are at least two balls of the same color. Okay, seems quite simple, but it is really the extreme case. You can think of it like this, that if you put two balls, that's the total number of cases you want and put one more for the extra color. So then you would have the final answer, which is three. So what did I do? Let me explain what I did just here. So here is an explanation. So I looked at the worst case scenario. Worst case. What is the worst case? Worst case is you have one ball of each color, right? I, ex I told you this is the baby case, so it will be much easier, but you will see why this is useful. So the worst case is you have one ball of each color because once you have two balls of a color, you are done. So the worst case is that you have one ball of each color. Now there are two colors. There are two colors. So this is one ball from white and one ball from black. Once you add one more ball, that means you are you have crossed the worst case scenario. So you have three balls now. And since you have crossed the worst case scenario, the third ball should be either white or black. So that sort of settles the matter. So how did we do this? We figured out what is the worst case that can happen. And then you, we threw, threw in one extra ball. And then we know that we have crossed that worst case scenario and we are now done. This is actually also a problem of pigeon hole principle, but I'm not going to go in, go in there. Uh, let's use this as an example of extremal principle. One problem can be an example of multiple ideas, so that's fine. Let's come back to this problem statement. It says a bag contains 28 red balls, 20 green balls, 19 yellow balls, 13 blue balls, 11 white balls and 9 black balls. Again, it's asking what is the minimum number of balls that must be drawn from the box without replacement. See, it's similar to what we said to guarantee that at least 15 balls of a single color will be drawn. So we will, what we will do is we will construct the worst case. So the worst case. So what is the worst case? The worst case is you have nine. So you picked up nine black balls first and then you pick up 11 white balls. So this is worst case because you picked up two colors, all of them, and you have not reached your goal. Then you pick up 13 uh, blue balls. Okay. Then you still have, haven't reached 15 balls of the same color. This is sort of you picked up three colors already. Okay. Now we look into red, green and yellow, red, green, yellow. So remember, I'm constructing the worst case. So I can take 14 balls of each color. Once I reach 15, I'm done. So I, I, I just take 14 balls of each color. So that's total 42. So you have 42 plus 9 plus 11 plus 13. That's 75. You have you have still not uh, you, you still don't have 15 balls of the same color. But now if you add one more ball, you have the desired case. So you have 15 balls of a single color now. 
Now this might you might have actually picked up 20, uh, 15 uh, red balls at the first shot. That could have happened. But the point is that might not have happened. I mean, you might not have been that lucky that all the 15, first 15 balls are of the same color. So you have to check for the worst case what can happen. And this is really the worst case. So the final answer will be 76. Look at the link in the description to uh, try out more problems and internal students will have access to more resources. I'll see you in the next video. Take care.